Hi guys! In this video, we will learn about advanced formulas in Excel. Watch the entire video because we have a quiz question for you at the end and one lucky winner will get an exciting merchandise. So let's get started. With knowledge of formula syntax and paying attention to the order of operations, we can create more complex formulas. Before we start, have a look at this maths question and just note down the answer. This is not a trick question, by the way. Do you recall learning the order of operations in maths? The order of operations is a set of rules used in maths, science, technology and most programming languages. It tells us the order in which operations in an equation should be performed. You might remember it as the acronym BEDMAS or even BODMAS or PEMDAS, but they all mean the same thing. BEDMAS represents brackets, exponents, division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. When we have an equation with different mathematical operators, we calculate them following this order. First, we calculate anything inside brackets. Then, we calculate anything with exponents, followed by division and multiplication, which are calculated from left to right. And last but not least, we do addition and subtraction, again from left to right, so whichever comes first. To remember the acronym, we can use the phrase Ben enjoys dairy milk and sugar. This is a mnemonic that our foodies Ishan and Alia will never forget, although just the mention of the acronym BEDMAS makes them rather hungry. Now let's just go back to the maths question and see if our answer changes at all. Whenever you're solving an equation with multiple operators, check it against the acronym to make sure you don't forget anything. Since this equation doesn't have any brackets or exponents, we can skip them. Now it does have both division and multiplication, and these are calculated from left to right, so whichever comes first. In this equation, we do division first, and then multiplication. So this is what we have so far. And then to finish off, we do addition and subtraction, again, whichever comes first. And the answer is 50. How many of you got that right? Now this is the same answer Excel would give us if we entered this formula into our worksheets. It's essential for us to understand the order of operations well when creating more complex formulas in Excel. Let's look at our customer receipt again and see why. In cell E15 over here, we want to calculate the total tax amount on this food order. Since the tax rate is 10%, we can select all the cells, add them up, and multiply by 0.1. This looks right, doesn't it? The tax amount will be 10% of the price of all the dishes added up, so let's go ahead and press enter. Wow! Tax of over $113? There must be something wrong. This is a good example of why we must be aware of the order of operations when writing formulas. Let's study the equation we entered again for a minute. From bed mass, the first operator to appear in our equation is multiplication. Therefore, Excel will calculate this first and then only after this will it add up all the other cells. And this is how we end up with the wrong tax amount. What we need to do to correct this is to add brackets so that Excel adds everything up before multiplying the total by 10%. This is just one example of why bed mass is so important and relevant to Excel. Now the good thing is that writing complex formulas becomes very easy when you follow the order of operations rule and will give you the correct answer each and every time. Just remember the acronym BEDMAS or Ben Eats Dairy Milk and Sugar to help you. Now that we have an understanding of advanced formulas in Excel, are you ready for the quiz? Which is the correct way of writing IF syntax? Answer in the comments section below. One lucky winner will receive an exciting Internshala Trainings merchandise. 
Hope you enjoyed learning about advanced formulas in Excel. This video tutorial is a part of Internshala Training's Advanced Excel Training Program. To learn the basic and advanced modules of Microsoft Excel, visit the link in the description. To learn exciting new concepts and skills on the go, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to stay tuned.